it'll be like after we started doing it, like right after we're done, he'll be like, "Okay, Riaja, like get your Uber, like like go every home time." Right. Okay. So that's not yesterday, but the day. Listen. Oh my gosh, listen. Okay, so so two days ago, it happened again. And mind you, I addressed it. Like, I confronted him about it. I said something about it. I said how it made me feel. I said he, it felt like he was treating me like a hoe. I said all that. You so told him this? Days, wait, wait, wait. You told him this? Yes, I told him this. How did he respond? What was I supposed to how, say? Did, how did he respond to that? He was very nonchalant about it. Guru, hey. <laughs> you took your red hair off? You took your red hair off? Um, that was like, that was a long time ago. I don't know when that was, but it was a long time ago. I don't know. You gotta look at my page or something. So, why you ain't I'm never took? Why right, you ain't I'm never changed? Right now, why you ain't never change? Why you ain't never change it? What do you do for work? I work at Amazon. I'm in the multi faith room right now. I'm on a little break. I had to stray away for a second. So, what you doing in yeah, the multi faith hey, room? Yeah, um, the multi faith room is like a room where, like, no matter if you're like Christian, I know what Muslim, it is. But what are you doing in there? Well, I just went in there to just get a break from. Outside, you know, I just wanted to break, so I came here. And then when I went on Instagram, you were live, and I watch your videos. Like I be watching them a lot. Um, a lot of the stuff you say, I agree with, but I think there can be change though in the community of Black women. I don't think it's like Ow. all hope is lost. Ow. Um, I feel like I said in the comments earlier. I said that if black men and women like if we educated ourselves on what true masculinity was or um or true like femininity was and we built our relationships with god and we went to therapy and we healed from our traumas and worked on our health like physically mentally spiritually i feel like it could be a lot of change in the black community all like as a whole honestly if the women if y'all worked on yourself yeah, like have you been okay, working on yourself? I come from a, what what I have come you been doing? Home. Wait, wait, wait. Let's start with you. What have you been doing to work on yourself? Okay, yeah. So I got saved in 2021. I come from a home where my mom was like very masculine. Um, I seen mm -hmm. guys like running in and out the house like all the time, just relationship after relationship. So I did pick up that habit, but I didn't realize where I was going wrong mm -hmm. as far as promiscuity until mm -hmm. I hit 17 and that was once I got into like a very like deep depression and then once I got saved everything changed like Jesus he was my dad like I didn't need like yeah we'll never replace like the physical form of a father but Jesus was my father he told me about my self-worth self-love he taught me literally everything and now I am practicing abstinence waiting on a good man of God like I really do want a man of God but I also had to learn to like not idolize the desire for a marriage either so as far as me i got some attachment issues i got just a bunch of issues like that i am working on i am in therapy um i do work out all the time i did like enlist in the military so i have things going for myself i have a christian podcast i i'm very ambitious and i like i'm really passionate about change but I do have my own issues that I do need to work on. Like, I don't mind admitting that. <laughs> okay. you. I mean, you look better than what you used to. I'm looking at one of these videos on your page. You look better than how you used to be. You look like you used to be real ratchet. <laughs> what um, were you I doing in never, one of these videos? It looked like I you was... was always... Wait, wait, wait. It looked like y'all was praying over some uh, liquor and you was getting ready to drink into some big old glasses of liquor. Which what was you doing you there? About? What video are you talking about? Let me show you. I think I know what you're talking about. Let's see. Watch the whole thing. I, I did, but okay, this is your transformation when you say you got saved. Okay, but 
Hold on, watch. We about to see you. It looked like you was praying over some liquor. You and a friend. No, we weren't. We weren't. Man, that how, that room was filthy. That room right here. What's the, what is y'all doing? Oh yeah, so we were just like on a date, Guru. I mean, it's just showing like all the mistakes. That whole video is just showing me like when I was in this world. That's all it is. It's just showing me. You on a date? You praying, died. y'all? It looks like y'all holding hands to pray. No, we were just we did pray before that dinner, but that was a long time ago. We were at um, Cheddar's, I believe. We were at Cheddar's, and we were just. Holding hands, I don't really know how to like explain. Well, who is the man? Who is that man? Okay, so that was a guy. Um, I think my first ever podcast episode talks about him. That was a guy, and the relationship just went completely wrong. Like, I feel like in that relationship, I don't know what was going on. Like, I just feel like I just should have never been talking to him. I feel I had no business like being around that type of guy, but also at the same time. At that age, I don't know. I might have been 17, might have been 18. I don't know. But at that age, I was, like, living in hotels. Um, It was just going completely wrong. Like, I don't really know what to say. That's what the video is about, though. It's about how I look and the things that I How long ago did you get saved? How long ago did you get saved? I got saved 2021. So I turned 17. I'm 20 now. So that Mm. was... That was three years ago. Mm. So, yeah, and it's been a good journey, honestly. Like, I, I'm not. You've been losing years. weight? Yeah, yeah. I lost a lot of weight. Um, But the only reason. Why you won't give up these why, wigs? What'd you say, Guru? Why you won't give up these wigs? Um, it was more so of a confidence thing. Like I did, like I wear my real hair, of course, but like as far as the wigs, it was more so. I can't admit, like it's a confidence thing. I don't know if it's the same with other black women, but I do know with me personally, it was it was a confidence thing. Like I felt like I looked better with them, and I felt like I had got more attention when I did wear wigs. Um, and just just that. Like that, you that got a cool. you have an eyelash business too. I I do. My page is still up, but I've been losing my passion for it. It really was successful though. Like I would go to um, flea markets and sell out all my lashes. I remember the year of my prom, my senior year. Lashes helped me because nobody supported me for prom, and I sold out like on lashes. So I was into it, but I don't think. It's for me no more. I don't know why. It's just this year I haven't really been feeling it. <laughs> mm. I don't really know what to say. So I don't know. Um, I am in college though right now. So I don't know if I'm gonna go for cosmetics or not. Honestly, I think that's the year. This is the year where I'm trying to figure all that out. I'm not dating right now either though. <laughs> what are you doing right now? Do you have any children? Um, right now, like I said, do you have you any? What? Do you have any children? No, I don't have no kids. <laughs> none. When when was the I last time? Hold, hold on, calm here. down, calm down. When's the last time you were in a relationship? The last time I was in a a relationship was the year I got saved. Yeah. You've been abstinent since you got saved? Um, No, it's been like ups and downs. Like the longest I've been abstinent was for a year. And then recently, like this summer. I had to get you some. It had to get you some, huh? No, it really wasn't that. Like I didn't want to. I felt like it's like I felt like. I don't know. He tricked me. Like I thought he was. A he man tricked you. <laughs> yeah, he, tricked me. he tricked me, and I fell for it. Ooh. But I feel like I, I've been like doing a lot of research and stuff, and I I think I found out that like the more your body count goes up, the less the less probability you have for your marriage to be successful. Yeah, there's science behind that. 
You didn't know yeah. that? You need to you need to go look it up. There's science behind that. They've actually done research on this. More you it's screw, like, the more you screw, the less likely you're going to be successful in a marriage. Yeah, cuz you like it's like you can come you can compare like whoever you have. Wait, wait, wait. Been- Some woman in the comments talking about stop is tempting for me. What's tempting for you? Because she you said that on, she slipped. No, she's right. She's right. When you hear someone speaking on certain conversations, like whether it be sex, whatever your sin is that you struggle with, it can be tempting for you to hear, like, hear that, hear another person talking about that. So, and whoever said I need a mentor, yes, I've been praying about that so heavily. I need a mentor. Like, <laughs> I need a mentor. Wait, 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 wait. Explain that. If you hear somebody talking about how they slipped this summer and they went and got some, that can be tempting for you as a woman? That's what you're saying? No, it's not. No, that's not what I said. I said anybody, man or woman, if you're dealing with whatever sin, whether it's greed, lust, whatever sin you're dealing with, if you hear another person talking about that same thing or you're watching something, it can it can cause you to fall into temptation yourself. So you do need to be mindful of what you're watching and what you're listening to. Well, how did that happen for you? What were you watching and listening to that you fell into that? Um, it started in my mind first. It did. It started in my head first because I was doing good. Like I was abstinent. I even started to see it in my face. I started to see it in my body language. And then... I guess, like, me, I don't know, like, I feel like I'm the type, like, I'm scared of how good I can really be. So that's what started happening. I started doubting, like, my walk with God. I started, like, doubting, like, just am I going to be successful? I don't want to end up broke. I don't want to end up poor. Like, that's what was going through my mind. And then also, like I said, idolizing marriage. I don't, like, like, wanting so heavily to be married and, and it took who was the guy who was the guy because you said you ain't been in a relationship so who was he he wasn't no relationship partner okay so the guy i was a manager at qt before i started working here at amazon so he didn't work at qt but he was like if you've ever been in qt gas station you see the security guards he was like a security guard so he started asking me to church So we started going to church and then like, I think on the third Sunday of us going to church, he brought me like this big bouquet, like of roses. So after that, still, we still didn't do anything. He took me out to like Ruru's, this place called Ruru's. Um, And then he even like, we went to the park. He made me like write down on um, paper how I felt about him and he did the same. And on his paper, he said that he wanted to date me but with the intention to marry me. And that's where he got me at. So after that, I kind of like, he asked me, did I want to stop by his house to change? Because I had to go to work. He was going to drop me off to work, but he didn't want me to change. He said he didn't want me change in the bathroom at work. So he wanted me to come to his house to change. So when I got to his house, I went into the bathroom, changed to my work clothes. It was literally... 9 30 I had to be to work at 10 it happened that quick and then <laughs> when I you went you went bathroom, wait 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 this was after church no this was after we left church and went to the Ruru's place where we went to go eat and y'all I went to, to eat to and work. then you and then you had to work so you went to his house to change yeah but I wasn't supposed to go to his house to change I so that fast change so that fast bathroom. in between so between 9 30 and 10 did you make it to work on time yes. <laughs> did you make yes. it on time to work no didn't even end up <laughs> you didn't go to work no like when i walked out the bathroom after changing he literally was standing right there like right there and he kissed me and then we just it just happened <laughs> Yeah. Why are you so giggly about it and happy? You you like a little schoolgirl right now about this. My goodness. It's like I know, like, cause it's like I it happened when I say it happened so fast. That's why I'm laughing, because it's just like regation boundaries. Like, first of all, I shouldn't even be with no dude that late at night. <laughs> like, it should be like maybe like before 
8 p.m., like, in the daytime, or if it's, like, a double day, that way, things like that don't happen. So how did he trick you? How did he trick you? How did he trick you, though? He didn't actually want to marry you? No, and I felt like... Well, how do you know he don't want to marry you? How do you know he didn't want to marry you? Because he said he said he wanted to marry you. He, But he also said that he didn't want to marry me without saying it. It what was do you mean? Like he didn't know, like, okay, like, for example, so after, like, having, like, a lot of deep conversations, the conversation of 50-50 got brought up. And he asked me how did I feel about that, and I told him, well, like, I didn't believe in 50-50. I believe that a woman should be in the kitchen and be cooking and cleaning and supporting. I still said like I wanted my own business and because I am like I do have that entrepreneur in me so I wanted all that but it was kind of just like he didn't he was just like red flagged about the whole 50-50 thing from me. So after we started talking more about that it was just like very, Was this like, after y'all this was after y'all did something in the bedroom? After y'all was intimate? Yeah. Okay. So y'all started talking. Y'all started talking about this whole thing and then what? Go ahead. And then something, I was trying to tell you that something happened between me and that guy like three days ago that just cut the whole shenanigan situationship off. So like, okay. So the more we started talking about it, you could just tell like he just didn't know like if he, it's like he was surprised that he liked me because I was cooking for him. I was cooking homemade, <laughs> like homemade. How many times did y'all? How many times were y'all intimate? Um, a whole bunch. Mom, maybe like yeah, like but the days, the days was probably had to add up to like. Maybe like ten days, but ten the, days. But y'all was a lot amount, over those ten days that y'all was doing it a lot. Yeah, like the amount. But so you gotta. So amount. you think he? Do you think he tricked you because he had a lust demon and it got on you? Yeah. Because I'm trying to figure out where where was the trick coming from. So you think he put the, the trick lust? Was that I thought he? The trick was that he was acting as if he was saved, but I asked him eventually i asked him i said well like are you saved you know like are you saved and he got really he got really defensive he got really defensive about the um you didn't ask him when he ki- when he kissed you when you was at his house you didn't ask him before y'all did anything you didn't ask him if he was saved then i did but when we first met he said <laughs> that he was saved literally when we first met but when I asked him the question again, he was very defensive. He didn't even give a yes or a no. He was just like, that's between me and God. Like, just, that's what he was saying. <laughs> he didn't give me a yes or a no. I just had to figure it out. Huh. But I'm trying to tell you what, like, So, wait, 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 wait. But you, hey, I'm trying to figure this out. He was telling you one thing, but you were trying to figure something else out in your head. But then after it just seemed from what I'm hearing, it was just like you went to his house before, right before work and, and it just happened so fast. Like he kissed you and it just it was you didn't even, even end up going to work. Y'all probably did it all night and it was just crazy. And then you was on cloud nine because you still look. You still look a little bubbly talking about it now, like you still on cloud because it just happened I, this summer. I'm deeply affected by it. It so just happened like, this summer. Even though I look bubbly, I I was definitely heartbroken because when the last time y'all were together? Two days ago. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You're not letting me tell you. <laughs> okay, so two days ago, right? Okay, so two days ago. Um. The whole time, like, we've been, like, doing it, it'll be, like, after we started doing it, like, right after we're done, he'll be, like, okay, Rieja, like, get your Uber. Like, like, go Every time? Right. Okay. So, not yesterday, but the day. Listen. Oh, my gosh. Listen. Okay. So... Two days ago, it happened again. And mind you, I addressed it. Like, I confronted him about it. I said something about it. I said how it made me feel. I said he, it felt like he was treating me like a hoe. I said all that. You so told him this? Wait, wait, wait. You told him this? 
Yes, I told him this. How did he respond? Wait, to how, did, how did he respond to that? He was very nonchalant about it, and he was just acting like he didn't care. So yesterday, I'm sorry, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, it happened again. So when it happened and we did it, I went to sit in his car because he lets me like drive his car around. He lets me take his car. He lets me sit in his car or whatever. So I went to go sit in his car to just like recollect my thoughts after we did it. So why would you I go said, sit in his car after y'all did it? Why wouldn't you like you don't want to be cuddled or nothing? No, because I was already on edge about like just the whole situation between us. So when I went in the car, he came to the car and he was just like, what are you doing? I guess he was Wait, mad is this car in a, in a... Wait, is the car parked outside or is it in a garage? It, he has an apartment, so the car is in... The, so you went to go sit outside in his car after y'all didn't got it on? Guru, don't you go to collect your thoughts sometimes? I ain't never heard of nothing like that in my life. Never I ain't never heard... Outside. Hold on, listen, listen, listen. How you say your name? Reasha. Reasha. I've never heard in my whole life nobody doing it and then saying they got to go sit in the car and collect their thoughts. I've never heard of that in my life, especially the woman. Well, usually, the woman thing, usually the woman, usually the woman, look, usually the woman, she want to be held. She want to be, you know, she want the man right there with her. Or if she if she nasty, then she going to roll over and go to sleep and. And just be done or tell him to get out or if he didn't do a good job. No, but okay, so when he when he came out to the car, he was just like, What are you doing? But it seemed like he was mad at me about something. He didn't say what he was mad about. He was just acting funny. So I told him I'm like, no, just sit in here. And he was like, Okay, you can get your Uber. And he walked in the house. So after that, I ordered my Uber immediately and then I walked after him. Was he so paying for the Ubers? In. Did he pay for your no, Ubers? No, he came and picked me up, but I paid for my own Uber. So he has paid for my Uber before, but like not not that day. So Go, when folks. he walked in the house, I walked in after him and I showed him my phone. I'm like, hey, I just, I, I'm like, hey, I just ordered my Uber and he laid down. I'm like, hey, I just ordered my Uber, um, but I need to talk to you. Like, we need to have like an adult conversation real quick because I'm pissed. That's that was my words. Directly. Wait, say it again. You told him what? I said we need to have an adult conversation because I'm pissed. That okay. was my why you and and it wait. So this was why you was collecting your thoughts in the car after y'all had did it. No, remember I, what I just said. I said he told me to order my Uber, and I ordered oh, that's when Uber you got pissed. You got pissed when he said order your Uber. Yes, because mind you, but he came to check on you in the car, and you you was acting strange. That was not checking on me. He told me to order my Uber. He wasn't checking on me. But I thought you said he came out first to see. Like he said, "What are you doing? What's going on?" But I also said he seemed like he was mad about something. So, was the yeah, was the so, I mean did y'all have a good session or was it did did y'all fight? No, we did not have a good session because I had been picking up like that he w wasn't sure that he wanted. Oh, me. so it so wasn't even good. Session, it wasn't even good. So okay, listen, it was it was not because like the past two weeks, the past two weeks it was good. But I guess when I started realizing like his feel his feelings towards me mm -hmm. the last session that we did i wasn't like he was like he was like i hate to be vulgar and i hate to like be explicit but i'm gonna just be honest transparent right he said he was just like during doing it like when we were doing it he was like you know like say my name say my name and i was not saying nothing like it was like so like i felt like i just was feeling disconnected I was feeling disconnected from him like when we were doing it. So when I walked back in the house after him, I was like, hey, I ordered my Uber and he was laying back down in the bed. And I was like, um, but we need to have like an adult conversation because I'm a little pissed off. And he was like, you're pissed. And I was like, yeah, because you're, you're not telling me what's wrong. You just came and said, like, order your Uber. And it was right after we did it. And he was just being nonchalant. So that's when I got really annoyed. And I hate to say it, but I got to be honest. So after that, um, I was like, like, look at me. Like, I'm talking to you. Like, you're not speaking to me. And he was just like, he had a smirk on his face. So I slapped him. 
I did, Guru. I'm so sorry. Like, I hate the fact that I did because I've never, like, lost, like, control of my emotions like that. But when I say I slapped him, I slapped him. And we was just, like, after that, it was, like, an awkward silence. It was, like, just silence. Why do you think you slapped him? Why do you think you slapped him? I think I slapped him because I feel like I'm a little too nice. And I feel like I be holding a lot in. And it just... It came to the surface, and I cried because I was upset that I got that, like, I feel like control of your emotions is everything, and this is the season where God is teaching me how to control my emotions the most, and I just feel mm. like me sitting there smacking that boy like that, he called the cops, too. He did. He did, but my Uber got there before the cops got there. And he I called the cops like, after you hit him? Immediately. <laughs> immediately like and so you hurry up there. and got in the uber and left and he said i guess i left some stuff over there because i was in such a rush so the cops dropped the rest of my stuff at the house that we ain't talked since and i prayed about it the cops came stuff. did the did they contact you did you talk to them no i guess they was in their head like you probably did something to get smacked when i say I'm very like it, I'm nice. Well, how you know he called? How do you know the cops end up showing up then? How do you know that? He told me he was like, um, I think about two hours after I left, he said the cops are on their way to drop your stuff off. I wasn't home though because I was scared. Mm. <laughs> I didn't. And know then when did you pray? Right. When did you pray? I prayed in that moment and I prayed after. In the moment, I was just praying that, like, I was just... Wait, you was praying while y'all was doing it? No, after I slapped him. Oh, after you slapped him. Okay. Yeah. And I was just telling God, like, I should have never, like, lost control of my emotions and that I hoped my Uber would get there before Mm. the cops got there. And You didn't want to go to jail? Yeah, because I've never been arrested and I can't... have nothing on my record and i'm 20 now so you know once you get a certain age you can get in trouble for certain things like that so i understood the depth of it and i know like anything could have happened he could have hit me back any like anything could have happened in that moment i just think i was so annoyed because it was such a trigger for me like me like putting in all that hard work (laughs) all that hard work to just and right back up in the same spot. And it's probably just because I... I Do you still have feelings for him? Do you still have feelings for him? Be honest. Be honest. Yeah, but, like, he was a little sassy, too. I'm not even gonna lie. Mm. Like, I was getting sassy vibes from him anyway, so maybe he's just not what's best for me. Do you, think it's be- Do you think it's because... Though. Do you think it's because you said it was good at first in the bedroom and then... Something changed after you felt so you changed what you were doing in the bedroom. Do you think that caused him to act a different way after you switched up on him in the bedroom? It could have, but like, I just don't know. Like, I don't know either. At the same time, I don't know if he ever felt any type of way to begin with because I did um, meet, he introduced me to a family member, his aunt. His mom passed, so he introduced me to his aunt. I haven't introduced him to a family member, though. I was scared. Mm. So Why weren't you scared to be at his house at almost 10 o'clock at night the first time y'all end up getting it on? I was nervous, but I wasn't scared. Like, I thought I Why? was about to go change my clothes. It wasn't supposed to. How many times y'all go to church? How many times y'all go to church together? Um, We go to church every Sunday. We only been talking for about maybe going on two months now. Right, but I'm saying so y'all y'all go to the same church. How many times did y'all go to church together? Is what I'm asking. You and him. We went to church together four times. So for a whole month, we went to church, and then that second month, this past month, everything's been like just weird Mm. like also also, so you started talking to him two months ago okay also i had um like it was a period of time like maybe like a week and a half where i just wasn't responding to him 
because he was giving me very much the vibes that like if I kept like allowing him access, he was gonna keep playing in my face. So I had to go a week and a half without like responding. And it was hard. Really? Because I wanted to respond. Like I wanted to text him back. I wanted to like be able to like him, but apparently it's bad when you just responding quickly and stuff like that like apparently that's not a good thing do you regret ever hooking up with him <laughs> yeah i feel like I but your feelings are involved now your feelings are involved now and that means a lot like i don't know i'm very uh discombobulated but wait before about- him before him you were abstinent for a year or no yeah a year but like, so he must have been. I, he must have had. He must have been real charming or handsome. Something that made you break that it for was him. Our relationship. It was our relationship. Like, with or it was God. only the fact like, that he said he would. He wanted to date you with marriage intentions. That that was the thing. In his in us going to church, and the boy can pray. He can pray. Like when I say like. The dude can pray like we would go like out to eat and he would just leave like on the prayer. And when I say that's so like it's not very common like these days. So it definitely caught my attention. Like the boy can pray like with some anointing. <laughs> I don't know. Like it seemed pray. like you are still all bubbly over this man. I'm serious. It listen, I know a woman with the combination of you talking about church. He he talked about he wanted to date you with the marriage intentions. The fact that you said it was good. Y'all was get, doing it all the time. That's heavy. Y'all was doing it all the time. But I feel like... A Over a 10-day period, though, y'all probably did it, what, 50 times? Yeah, but I also feel like I got a lot of light inside of me, too. And I feel like... <laughs> You got a lot of life feel, inside of you. What does that mean? Like, I have Holy Spirit inside of me. I've been filled with the Holy Spirit. You get what I'm saying? So that bubbliness, I'm going through a lot, too, at this time of my life. Like, so that bubbliness, it isn't off my own strength. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, in private and how you are in front of people can be two different things. And, yeah, I'm still bubbly in private, but I'm also saying that, like, I, I go through it in private, too. So like, if, you, if you saw him right now... How would you react to him? Would you smile? Would you apologize? Would you want to make up? Like, I would. I would most likely apologize and walk away. Like, I would apologize. You wouldn't talk to him. You wouldn't talk walk. to him in person right now. No, I would apologize to him for losing control of my emotions and putting my hands on him because that was wrong. Mm. But I would walk away because I learned my lesson. I did. I did. Like, no, he's not. He's do you not now, now? Be honest. Be honest with Guru. Do you feel like you're done with him? Be honest. Do you feel, feel like, like you're I done? Am, but I feel like the feel, like everything's not all the way out. Like, like I don't I think I don't see. Here's the thing. I don't think y'all done. But I slapped him though. I think he done with me. No, I don't think he done. I think he's gonna pick you okay. up again, and I think y'all gonna hook up again. And and. I hope though because it is what do you mean you hope not mind. what do you mean you hope not because it's messing it, it it is like hindering me from a lot like I really from what not. hindering you from what what do you got to do i feel like just also i noticed that like whenever i speak about like goals or something around him like any goal or plan i have he act like my biggest hater too and i don't like that i don't but like i thought you said all. this man was anointed with prayer no, I didn't. I said his prayer came with some anointing. It's co- it's a completely different thing. You can pray and not only was the prayer can... it the bedroom game must have been anointed too because you said it was real good. Y'all doing it fifty That's times. Not what I said, you twisted my words. I'm saying, but y'all doing it that many times over a ten day period. It must have been something, boy. And and wait, wait for me. as abstinent as you was. That sounds to me more like you was just dying to get some. You was doing it that much for 10 days? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, you were dying for love. But 
Why Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, we know you came. Hold on a second. Throughout all of this process, you ain't never took the time and thought about the fact that you could get pregnant? Of course I thought about it. When we were doing it, the um, I had to go to the hospital because, like, the... Um, the uh condom it got like it got like like it got it got stuck like the condom it got stuck up way yeah. up there yeah and i had to go to the hospital and they gave me like a a plan b and the the whole the whole did night. they get it out of you did they get it out yeah. of you yeah they got how it did they get it out they just pulled it out they just put their hand up there. Me, he was in the room with me. Like, they just put their hand up there and pulled it out. They they put like they used the something scope to see in there, and I had my legs open like as if you giving birth or something, and uh -huh. they they pulled it out. But he was holding my hand the whole time, like he was there. He was scared. So. And then they gave you they gave you a plan. The hospital gave you a plan B. Yeah, they gave me a plan B because we just, we wasn't like, we didn't want want that immediately right in and there. He did say a slick comment. He was like, if I did get pregnant, he wouldn't be mad. But I didn't respond to it. I just moved along. How but old are like, you? How, how old are you? How old are you? I'm 20. You're 20? Yeah, I'm 20. What's your... Okay, this is very important. I got to know this. How many men have you been intimate with in your lifetime? About 10. About? Yeah. yeah. Most women know their exact number. Um, 10. But like, that's why I said what I said about your body count at the beginning of the conversation. Because I know that. I know like consequences of it i know the aftermath of it and like how I old said, is he I'm, how old how old is he he's 25 mm. yeah so don't know do you think he still desires to pursue you for marriage after you slapped him no that's why i got upset Oh, you got upset because you feel like he don't want to pursue you for marriage. That he just treating you like a hoe. Yeah, like because he was sending you home in those Ubers. Yeah, I got upset about that. What did you want to like? What did you expect to happen? You wanted to stay the night. No, it, I've stayed the night over his house. Plenty okay, of so times. what? I was, what to, I was supposed to go to work from his house later. What? What did you so want to happen? Gonna, what did you want to happen? I didn't want to be sent home in an Uber like that. Point blank, mm. period. Like, I wanted to leave when we planned on me leaving. We planned on me leaving later that day for me to go to work. That was it. I didn't want to get sent home like no whore. You get what I'm saying? And did you express that to him or you just slapped him? Did you tell him you don't, you feel like he's I treating you? I expressed it to him, but that okay. wasn't the first day I expressed it to no, him. No, I'm saying that right. night. I'm talking about that night. Did you, before you slapped him, did you tell him that? This was morning time. All this was going on. Oh, so this, this was, was like morning. A, this was like 11 o'clock. Hold on a minute. Morning. So you just came over early in the morning to hook up? No, I was already over there. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I had already. Oh, y'all had did something like probably me. the night before, and then, then y'all getting ready to do it again in the morning. I've stayed, I've stayed over his house multiple, like, multiple nights. Yeah, but, but that's what I'm saying. That morning, y'all had hooked up again, right? And then it wasn't good. Wait, wait, wait. Let me confirm the story. It was You said it wasn't no good. You y'all you wasn't enjoying it. Then you went and sat in the car, and then he came out. Did you have some clothes on at least when you went and sat in the car in the parking lot? Yeah, I had clothes okay. on. All right, all right. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you went and sat in the uh, car. You were trying to collect your thoughts based off of everything that had just happened, and then that's when he. Uh, 
I don't see. That's where I'm confused. Why are you trying to collect your thoughts after y'all just did it? Like, I was the reason I even went in the car is because first of all, I've dealt with anxiety for a long time, and um, did you did you have a feeling like he was getting uh, trying to push you away, or what? Yeah, but like that's what I was saying. Like I had already been picking up on it, like. But if you was picking up up on it, you were still, y'all still hooked up that morning. But Guru, I even told you, like, I had already had uh, a week and a half without responding to him because I was already just the type of way. When I came back over, I came back over because I think I had got into it with some family members that day. And he texted me and was like, hey, do you want to come over? And I said, yeah. I said, yeah, come get me right now. Come on, like, come get me. And I went over there, spent the night, and the next morning... But you got into it with family... That's So you got into it with family members, so you were just ready to go. Come pick me up. Yeah, and some people say my daddy ain't raised me right. I didn't have a dad. That's what y'all got to Okay, okay, all right. Hold hold on. Stop reading the comments for a minute. Okay. You got over there. You got over there. Man, I hope you praying in that faith room every chance you get. Um... You got over there, y'all did, y'all hooked up that night, and then you slept. Then in the morning, y'all hooked up again, and y'all had a whole plan on when you were supposed to leave. But that changed because you felt like something wasn't right. You went and sat in the car. He changed it. No, 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 no. Because I'm saying, I'm saying nothing was changed. When you went to go sit in the car, he told you like he was. You didn't say he told you he was ready for you to go. He said you said he came out to the car and told you you can call your Uber. Literally. So what happened? Crazy. What happened? That's what I'm saying. Something's not making sense. Something's not adding up. What happened while y'all was doing it or after y'all did it before you went to the car? What happened? Okay. So when we did it, I went in the living room, put on some clothes, and went to the car. That's literally how it went. I don't know why it don't make sense, but it's making sense to me. I literally went to the Because car. I know men, listen, I know men. Normally a man is going to be ready for you to go and be like, nah, you got to bounce because something didn't happen while y'all was doing it or after y'all didn't did it. Something happened. And then when we were doing it, like I said, I was like acting different when we were doing it. How was like, you acting? Was. How was you acting? I told you, like when he would say certain things. Oh, like, he. Oh, you didn't want to say. You didn't want to call his name. No, because I, I, I know what word agreements are, and I feel like it'd be certain times, like during sex, if if a person say like, "Oh, say you mine," you'll say it, and then later that week you'd be wondering why they you can't get them out your head and stuff like that. Words are powerful, so in my head, I was definitely like, "Bro, get him out your head. He's in your coochie." And I was in my head too. Like I didn't even I didn't think of it like that. But yeah, the whole time we were doing it, I was in my head. No cap. Like I was in my head. You talk about you don't want certain words and things to get in your head. He's in your coochie. What are okay. you talking about? You've never been in your head in sex. Ever you never like been in your head while doing it? Mm, mm, mm. Cause I was definitely. What was you head. in your head about? I just felt like I was just like also. You felt like he's I, trying to he's trying to he's trying to make you say some words that you don't want to affirm. That's what you were also, in your head about. Also, um, the last time we no, you don't deliver pa- like, you don't deliver was, packages, right? You just uh, put the. For Amazon, what do you do? I literally just put stuff in a robot. That's it. Oh, okay. No, literally. she's not delivering I y'all's packages. They was they was afraid. Some people was asking, "Do you deliver the packages?" So, no, she's not delivering. She, she might be put. She might be putting the uh, barcode or something on there. She praying. Yeah, she I, prays over y'all packages before y'all get them. Okay, go ahead. But also when like the last few times that um, we did it, it, it felt very much like not forced, but like not meant to be like you could tell like he would like try to 
kiss on me and I could tell like he just wanted some so my energy would just be different like so you was changing you were switching up you blaming him you were switching up yeah I switched up when I realized that he didn't know what he wanted I most definitely switched up because what did what did you want what did you want you wanted the man to marry you Wow. Am I crazy for that? For wanting that? Two months and he just he just tried the coochie out. It's only been two months. So the coochie was obviously good. How like, do you know? I, How do you know? How do you know? It was good. How do you know? It was good. I didn't ask you that. I said, How you know? I just know. Like that's just it was good. You just like, know. Just See, all y'all think yeah. is good. I, all y'all think y'all stuff is good. The man is the one that know if it's good or not. Well, the man he was acting like it was good, so it was good. I just feel as though like I I did want marriage, but I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I think I just need to be by myself for a little bit after that. So you don't like, want. So you don't want marriage anymore right now. I want marriage. I just feel like I just need to be by myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, just just until that time. So what happens? Let me ask you this. Okay, hold on. What happens if y'all start talking again in the next few days and then you end up back over his house? What's going to happen then? If he reached back out, I'm going to just rebuke him in the name of Jesus because... Like, why are you even reaching back out to me? And his number is blocked, so it shouldn't even be no. And he's not on social media either, so okay. it really do you, do you really feel like he had a sex demon? Yeah. When you're when you're dealing with a sex demon, it don't just show in sex; it shows in every other aspect of your life. Like you never satisfy with nothing. You always want more and more and more and more. So you can just tell when somebody is dealing with. Okay. How? So why weren't you able to figure this out earlier? Why did it take y'all doing it so many and I times? I figured it out earlier. I think I just. And him calling the police on you. And then finally you figured it out. I figured it out before. I just didn't listen. Like to. The you didn't listen flag. to what? You didn't. You didn't listen to what? To God? My intuition. Oh, to your God, intuition. My intuition. Um, the red flags. I didn't listen. Like, I'm, why? I'm, okay, okay. So let's figure that out about you. Why do you think you didn't listen? I think because, like I said, the confidence thing, like dealing with fear and doubt, like always doubting myself. I don't. I'm still figuring out where it comes from and where where in my childhood that it actually stems from. But that's the only thing that's making sense about it. Like, mm. I'll, I'll have like my like God will tell me something, and I'll know, like I'll know it. You get what I'm saying? But I'll doubt it so so much. Like, is this true? Maybe I should give him a chance. Like, maybe I should just try. You know, sometimes you can't. How did you have time to? How, how did you have? Sure. Hold on a minute. How did you have time to work? If you're talking about in about ten days, y'all was doing it like fifty times. How did you have time to go to work? What you mean, how did I have time to go to work? I went to work. You sure you're not pregnant? Because that's a lot. You sure you're not pregnant? I'm sure I'm not pregnant. How do you know? (laughs) How do you know? No, I'm just saying, how do you know? Y'all just did it. Y'all just did it two days ago. How do you know? I guess, I mean, I don't know. Okay, what happens if you find out you're pregnant with this man's baby? If I find that I'm pregnant, first thing I'm doing is praying. Cause like, are you gonna call him? Pregnant? Are you gonna call him? Yeah, I would. I would tell him, cause I wouldn't really know what to do. Like, I would be. How old like, did you say he was again? Twenty five. How many children does he have? None. Okay. What kind of? He live in a one bedroom studio. What kind of apartment? A one bedroom. Okay. But, like, I would tell him, but I wouldn't really know what to do. Mm. And I told you. How much do you weigh right now? One time, but not for the last time. Wait, say it again. I don't know. I took a plan B for that one time with the condom thing, but not the last time. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. 
How much do you weigh right now? I weigh 170. How tall are you? I'm 5'4". What's your target weight? My target weight is 160. Only because I leave for the military soon. I don't have a ship out date but yet. But what branch? That's what I'm trying to army. They're taking you at that weight? Yeah. Um, it was, like, there are, like, there is a certain weight, but, you know, the Army has a program before you go to your 13 weeks of basic training, so you have to be within, like, 2% body fat, and you can still, they'll ship you out, they'll help you lose the weight, and then they'll send you off to your basic training. Okay. You don't have a date yet for that? Uh, no. So how is that going to work if you were trying to be married to this man, but you getting ready to get shipped out. How was that going to work? Did you even think about that? No, but I think like in, in, in time, like as, as time goes on, that could have been something that was talked about. And I did mention as time you know, goes on, that's something that needs to be discussed in the beginning before he stick his dick like me. You. I did mention the military to him, but you remember when I said that it was certain goals that I had like, said that he would just like shoot down that was one of them and he was in the military too so he's not anymore okay. but he was in the military too so I don't really well I, I wish you the best you can come back and Thank talk you. to me later and give me an update on your life okay I will I'm gonna give you an update okay have a good night okay Okay, have a good night. All right. And there it is. You just witnessed another episode of The Black Guru. You better subscribe and hit that bell twice to make sure you get notified for every single piece of my content. I got so much more to come.